Meghan's arrogant move at Invictus. Gabriela Hearst's sales crash. Meghan Markle made a deliberate choice to avoid wearing the Invictus polo shirt, opting instead for an outfit that raised eyebrows due to its wrinkled appearance. This unconventional fashion choice had a noticeable impact on Gabriela Hearst's sales, causing a drop in their numbers. Meghan chose to don a brown silky shirt and trousers for the occasion alongside Prince Harry at the Invictus Games shop. Her outfit was a monochrome ensemble featuring two shades of brown. She wore wide leg silk trousers from Gabriel Hurst, priced at £1,200, along with oversized new new sunglasses worth £165. Completing her look was a 365 Danny blouse from the New York based designer. Megan wore her hair down and opted for a makeup look, complemented by 590 pound heels from Manola Blanick. Sources revealed that Meghan intentionally refrained from wearing Invictus-branded t-shirts during the event, wanting to stand out in front of the cameras. This decision may have been influenced by her past experiences as a royal when she was limited to neutral colors. Now, free from those constraints, she chose this particular beige outfit, despite its wrinkled appearance. Some observers couldn't help but comment on Meghan's recurring preference for overly long trousers that creased easily. They questioned whether she was buying them to appear taller than she was, akin to Princess Catherine. However, it was noted that the long pants actually had the opposite effect, making her appear shorter due to the horizontal lines created by the wrinkles of the ankles. Similarly, the use of similar colors that should have made her look leaner did not achieve the desired effect. Critics argued that Meghan lacked friends or advisors to guide her fashion choices, given her resources and access. Her tendency to wear ill-fitting outfits, often featuring pants that dragged on the ground, seemed to be her signature style. Unfortunately, this style had an adverse impact on the brands she chose to wear, as sales usually dipped whenever she sported their clothing. Gabriela Hurst, for example, lost a significant number of customers due to the so-called Megan effect. Megan's attire at the Invictus Games drew mixed opinions from the public. While some criticized her, Others believed that her fashion choices were not intentionally aimed at attracting negative attention. There were concerns that she genuinely believed her outfits were stylish and flattering. Throughout the Invictus Games, Meghan notably wore Princess Diana's 17,000-pound Cartier watch but replaced a 62,000-pound Lorraine Schwartz pinky ring, a gift from the Middle East, with a $2,800 1972 tennis pinky ring from Chiffin & Co.